Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It's Tuesday, February 4th, 2014. I'm Leanne McAdoo, and here's what's coming up tonight. Tonight. Is 2014 the year the economy finally crashes, crumbling the matrix reality we live in? And we get a glimpse into what a militarized police state looks like. And NASA seeks corporate funding to send a robot to the moon in search of new corporate ventures. All this and more on the InfoWars Nightly News. Well, we move from one televised terror threat to another. This week, it's going to be all eyes on the Winter Olympics. Now the International Crisis Group is predicting a terror attack to take place in Sochi during the Winter Olympics. Russian authorities, of course, believe that the threat may come from the Muslim North Caucasus, which is where an insurgency is currently underway. And, of course, that's where Prince Bandar bin Sultan of Saudi Arabia threatened to move his rebels in if Putin didn't play ball. But no, this threat is now coming from the IGC. They believe that the threats against the games are going to arise elsewhere, saying radicals can come from any region of Russia. Now, the reason why this should cause some concern is that the IGC is a non-government organization founded by members of the Internationalist Carnegie Endowment for International Peace and the World Bank, as if those two go together. Now, it's funded by governments and corporate foundations. Its advisory board is dominated by Chevron, Shell, and other transnational corporations. But George Soros sits on the IGC Board of Trustees. Of course, he's directly implicated in funding the pro-EU activists in the Ukraine during that current uprising. Now, so here we have George Soros. He's a man whose company rolled out the naked body scanners almost immediately following that false flag terror threat with the underwear bomber. Now, all of a sudden, he's curiously there where another terror attack is supposed to take place probably salivating with the thought of the potential profits that can be made there. And basically, these are the same groups who are sending in rebels to destabilize other regions and other areas, much like Saudi Arabia has threatened to do to Putin during the Olympic Games. So we have all these globalists are kind of salivating here, wondering how they can go ahead, destabilize the region, make a big problem, and then sweep in to clean it up. Maybe Soros is hoping that Russia is going to hope to, you know, purchase all the naked body scanners that aren't working for us here in America. But who knows? I mean, that's what these globalists do. And historically, they create the problem and then they want to go in and fix it. So are they predicting a terror threat that they're going to create? Now, that's something I'd bet money on. But you know what? Just don't worry about it. Everything is fine. Many anthropologists and archaeologists believe that before man even discovered uh, the power to harness and use fire, we were involved in agrarian activities. That is, taking the seeds of plants and then replanting them to produce more. The very foundation of our modern civilization and human culture is centered around the planting and cultivation of edible plants. Here are some of the amazing deals at InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. The Survival Seed Vault by My Patriot Supply features only the finest survival heirloom seeds for a robust and hardy garden, even in the toughest times. We also have starter varieties of the deluxe seed packages for fruit, salad, salsa, peppers, medical herbs, and more. Go to the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. And remember... The revolution against tyranny is growing. 